Hey guys, welcome back again. I'm banging out videos today. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about the ignition system. Um, I upgraded the points to uh, Protronics electronic ignition and I highly recommend that for any points vehicle that you have, convert them over to electronic ignition. I did the, uh, the 79 Harley with uh, Rawhide Cycles. Uh, I did the 52 Chevy with uh, Protronics and now the Mustang I did uh, with Protronix. So uh, let me turn you around here and we can kind of go through it right quick. And then I've got a video to uh, to go uh, on how to install it. Very, very simple. You don't have to take the distributor out of the car or anything. Um, and you're, you don't have to worry about your gap, your dwell, any of that stuff anymore. Um, and once I get the carburetor issues worked out, uh, it'll run uh, and start a lot better. Okay, keeping it covered up right now. So basically, I got everything for Protronics. You got the, uh, the module, you got the uh, coil, plug wires, everything from them. Um, it's pretty, very easy to install. Uh, you don't even have on the Mustang. You don't even have to take them out. So there it is. You don't even have to take the distributor out on this one. You can uh, you can uh, uh, put it in with the distributor in the car. So so anyway, uh, let's take a look at the the video and uh, appreciate you watching. Um, I got a couple more videos yet to go um, for this year. I'll try to get them out just as soon as I can. Okay, uh, upgrading this uh, Mustang points to a uh, Protronics electronic ignition, and during this time I will probably just dis disassemble the distributor and clean it up real good and make it look a little better. Uh, anyway, there's a lot of crap in here to clean up. Um, I noticed this one. I didn't realize it before. I think. Let me turn the light on here. Hang on a minute. I think this piece here. I think that's an oiler because when I shine a flashlight down in there, I just see a a pad. And I thought maybe that's where you did the uh, dwell angle, but I could be wrong. But I'll find out as I go into it and. Uh, take it apart so anyway uh, stay tuned okay so I've been cleaning up this uh, distributor got it cleaned up I didn't I was going to take it apart and found out it's not like a GM this gears um, pressed on and I don't have a press and I mean the, the bearings it's, there's not a lot of slop in it there's some in and out but that's pretty normal um, I removed all the points and condenser, everything's out of there except for the ground. Um, so I'll be installing the Protronix uh, pickup module. It's got a red and a black wire on it. Uh, I think red, red wire goes to the positive side of the coil and negative uh, to the negative side of the coil. So I'm going to set up and uh, put this in. It's pretty easy. Okay, here we go. Find the hole.
Okay, there you go. I'm going to play around with these wires for a minute. I got a garment to put on. Here's the magnet part of it. That just slips over the, the rotor. And here's the garment. I need to see if I can get this garment put in right quick. I forgot about it. That's a little harder than I anticipated, but anyway, I got the garment on. I'm feed the wires down through the hole. Push it in. I'm going to need some more wires. But, uh, there we go. I probably should have run those through there. But I'll be all right. So now, put the uh, pickup on. Slide this over the lobe here. Okay, so um, I hope this fits into the video. Um, I started overhauling the distributor for the 66 Mustang and uh, ran into a problem with the magnetic pickup. So this is the one that came with the kit. It's from Protronics. It's a uh, model 1266, I believe. I got this from my normal supplier. Um, I couldn't get this to fit on my distributor. I mean, it was just way too big. I couldn't figure out what the heck's going on. And all my research showed me that I had the right kit. So I called my normal distributor. Of course, I ordered it six months ago, blah, blah, blah. We can't warrant. You know, that's the first thing they're talking about is warranty. All I'm looking for is some help. Um, so if you follow me on YouTube, you know who my distributor is. I'm getting a little frustrated with them guys. Uh, they'll sell you the parts, but they're not going to give you any help. So anyway, I called Protronics. Got a hold of a guy named Paul. Guy was spot on. He said, uh, what's the number on your pickup? And I said, well, it's, you know, there it is, 128-138. And he said, oh, that's a 4 V8. So, well, I, I don't know. I got it from, from your distributor. Or, I don't know if distributor or whatever you call them. Anyway. He said, uh, something happened somewhere, uh, we'll make it right. And they sent me the right one. So this is a 12613A. So uh, anyway, shout out to uh, Protronics. Man, they were on the spot and I didn't have to pay anything for it. They didn't even want this one back. So uh, really appreciate it, guys. Uh, Paul, you probably deserve a raise. <laughs> Uh, for helping me out, but uh, I am I'm hooked on these protronics uh, Put one in the 52 and it, it did a world of wonder. So anyway, I'm gonna get this put on and I'm gonna set the gap. So uh, I was waiting on um, The uh, the new pickup I went ahead and put the distributor in I, I got it up on top dead center put it in I got the rotor will point to the number one uh, uh, Position on the distributor cap and I just need to put this on. I think it only goes on one way. This might be kind of hard. There we go. That's in. There is a plastic feeler gauge piece. Let me go get that. Okay, so loosen this screw up a little bit here. And then you take your plastic, this little clear piece of plastic. It's, I think, I can't remember what they said it was, 32 thousandths or somewhere in there. So get that in there and move that over. I'm just going to put it on there until it's tight. So 
a little tight. It's probably going to back off a little bit when I tighten the screw here. Yeah, that's a little too tight. Back it off a little bit. Okay, a little tight. Right there, I like it. Need a little bit more. Right there. Snug that up. And there you go, that's it. It's on there, that's good. Now you don't have to pull your distributor out to do this. Um, you, can, you can do it all from here. Um, I talked to a friend of mine, he said he did one years ago and he said he didn't even take the distributor out. He just put it on, put it back in the same position and it started right up. So I've had real good luck with Protronics. Uh, you get a hot, hotter spark. Um, it, it just, they're just great. Um, the only thing that bothers me about them is if I was to break down somewhere going on a trip or something like that, I wouldn't be able to, I'd have to order a spare. So um, that's the only bad thing about them. But um, the one in the 52 has been very reliable. Um, I've, they've got a lot of good reviews online. So a pretty solid piece of uh, equipment and a great addition to any uh, point system. So. Or a replacement for a point system. Anyway, we got it running, uh, having some idle problems with the carburetor. I think some of that's due to the electric choke upgrade I did on it. Um, I'm working my way through that, just trying to get some videos out to you guys right now. So anyway, it's idling good, and we drove it here the other day, and uh, it's running good right now. Thanks for watching.